What's up, guys? My name is Michael, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, you know what we're doing? We're doing another lead code grind. All right, we're gonna basically I'm gonna zip through the, all thirty of the questions that I already answered, and after that, I'm basically going to do the questions with you while I'm doing them with you, and I hope you guys uh, understand how to do these algorithms. If we finish all the easy, and then the medium, and then the hard, it should be very, very easy for you guys. Algorithms should be a joke. Okay, I'll be you that. So today we're gonna do the next question. Remember to go to click on algorithms, sign up on lead code, lead code, go to problems, then later on just click on algorithms. After that, once you click on algorithms, sort it by difficulty, and then we will do the next problem. So we already did a deep and IP address, we did drill and stones, now we're gonna do range sum of BST. So you guys remember what BST means? BST is a binary search tree. Basically, it means all the values of whatever their current node you're on. All the values left of it is less than uh, the current value, and all the values right of it is greater than the current value. So, given the root node of a binary search tree, return the sum of all of values of all nodes with value between the L and right inclusive. Binary search tree is going to do have unique values. Okay, so how do you do this? Well, first of all, we want to recursively call the, this function, basically. We want to basically get all the values that are between this L and this R. That's what we got to do. That's basically what we got to do. But while we're doing that, we got to recursively get it, right? So we have to sum up all the values that are between L and R. Okay, so to do that, first, let's think about this. I want to keep calling this function. How am I going to do that? Well, first, if the root is null, I have to return zero. Why? Because there's no value. Okay, if the root is null, right, that means that there's no value at that location. So that's why we're returning zero. Okay. Like, there's no point of keep going for this if it's like it's not if, if it's if it's null right it, it just doesn't make any sense because null means that there's nothing at that value so that's what we're trying to do otherwise what are we going to do well what we have to do is we have to call this function actually before, before we call it we're going to have a sum called sum we're going to set it to zero now what is sum well, actually, uh, let's see, no, not sum, not sum, we are going to, no, okay. let's not do this, I don't want to do it this way, okay, what are we going to do? First, we're going to recursively call this function, on the left side and the right side, because I want to get all the values, right, I want to get all the values that are between left and right. In order to do that, I have to recursively call on the left tree, and then recursively call on the right tree. To do that, I take this range sum, this range sum, I copy this, okay? Here, the roots, we're gonna recursively call on the left. So I'm going to basically take in the left tree that I have here, and then call this function again. This will get me the left sum. What am I gonna do it? I'm gonna add it to the right sum. So, look at this, add it to the right, the person on the right. So what does this do? This gets me the sum of both the left and the right. So remember binary search trees, let me, let me just quickly show you guys, remember binary search trees? If, let's say this is the node, and there's children right here, uh, that's the left, and this is the right. If I recursively call them, Basically, I want to I want to call this function and get all the range sums, right? So in order to do that, let's say this has children, more children right here. I need to keep calling this function. I want to get the left left children its sum added to the right children's that sum. So I'm going to keep doing that. So what we're just going to do is let's say this is the parent. I'm going to go get the left children sum and add to the right children sum. But what is the left children sum? Okay, that means that. And I'm going to go down even further. What is the left children sum? This one, add it to the right children sum. That one. And then it returns this, and then it does that, keeps going back until I get it. 
get the thumb back to the front. Now, once I get the left and right, I need to check if the root's value is between left and right. So if it's greater than or equal to left and root's value is less than or equal to right. Why? Because if I do that, I'm going to add it to the sum. What would this do? Basically, this would be, this is going to take the value, this is going to check whatever value I'm on. So let's say whatever node this is. So let's say, in this example, let's say 10, 5, 15, 3, 7. So let's say, let's assume it's 10, 5, 15, 3, 7, uh, okay, it depends on here. So, uh, whatever. No, I'll let you assume this is more. Uh, what it's going to do basically it's going to recursively call I'm going to get everything of the left child and the right child the sum of all left child so what's the sum of all the left child well what's so it's going to go here be like okay what's this left child it's five give me the sum of five what is that three and seven what is sum of three uh, I don't know what the sum is 3 because the sum of 3 is going to have 0 or 0 when it's not, right? Then once it returns 0 up here, it has to check if the current value 3 is between left and right. Okay, left and right. So if I were to call this function with left 7 and r15, it's going to check 3. Is 3 between 7 and 15? It's not. So it's not going to add it to it. It's not going to return. add it to it. So it's not going to return. So it still returns 0 here. Right, then that would get me the left left sum. Then I'm going to add it to the right sum. Get the right sum. I go to the, the right, and then I check if it's seven between seven and fifteen. And it is, so I return seven. And then one one side back up here, it's going to return seven. And then plus what? Check if is five between seven and fifteen. Five is not, so I'm going to return zero. Zero plus seven will return seven here. And then I'm basically doing the same thing on the right side. So with that, then we're going to return sum. And after that, this, this, this should ideally work. Yep, you got the repeat. Okay. And then let's submit it. Accept it. This is faster than 97% of C++ online solutions. So that's basically what how you would do it. Let's see. Let's see how they do it. Okay, so they do depth, depth research. So that's basically what I did. Um, oh, so here they, they added a, a helper function. You technically don't have to do that, but okay. Oh, so they check if it's not there. Then, then they add it. If I was between left, it would be if on left. If I was between uh, right, if I on left. So they basically did what we did. Another way you could do it is iterative method, which is using a stack. So what they're going to do is they're going to keep pushing whatever current value is onto the stack, and then while it's not empty, we get the top, the first node of the stack. So here, let's say we have uh, so uh, let's see how many times. Okay, so we push ten onto the stack. We push ten onto the stack, and while the stack is not empty, ten is not empty, right? So then they're going to take ten out. It turns out, they check is 10 not equal to null. Yeah, 10 is not equal to null, right? They know that a 10 is not equal to null. So they're going to check if uh, the value of the node value is between uh, the left and the right. So is 10 between, let's see, what, what do they call it? Uh, what do they initially call it? Uh, what do they call it? Oh, 7. Okay, so here, left. So we're, what do we call L, L7 and then right is 15? Yeah, we're calling the function L7 and right is 15. So over here, if it's between it, it adds the value to the, adds whatever we popped out in the stack, adds it to the answer, which is uh, apparently it's zero, so it adds it to it. Then after that, we push the left node. If it's left then, less than, we push the left node. So what is that? Uh, five. If the value of five 
less uh, is greater than left, we push five, and then we keep doing this. And uh, then we check if uh, value is less than right uh, here. Then we push it, and then we keep doing that until we finish the stack. And that's how it works. That's basically range sum of BST. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Great, comment, subscribe.